All right, guys, welcome back. It's the holiday season. Let's go take a look at everything we're going to need for the banquet and accolades. Even if you are not a big spender, there is lots of rewards to get. So let's show you exactly what you need to do. So first off, you are going to get a gifting badge. If you haven't done this before, it's going to allow you to give um, items to other um, friends or alliance mates. Uh, you won't be able to do any crystals this year, so it's not gonna get completely out of hand, but I'm sure there'll still be plenty of fun, uh, pretty high scores in this event. And what we get over here is you get badges. So top collector, best alliance warrior, true team player, fastest thumbs, etc., juiciest roster. Now, you could go through this and be very specific. We're just going to do a short way of showing you what you got to do. So we're going to claim all the items. Now, if we go into our store, like our um, objectives, if you go under the solo event, you're going to have your banquet, right? So this is just going to be, uh, again, opening a greater banquet crystal, purchasing a greater banquet crystal, um, gifting any of the other consumables you can go ahead and gain points that way okay now there's also the accolades which is a 14 day event as well and this is just by you get 50 points for nominating an alliance member with one of those accolades that we just got i will show you how to do that in just a second and what you're going to see is from here you are going for every two that you send like you're just going to be gaining points and you will be able to get greater banquet crystals with all this amazing stuff potentially inside so just by doing nothing we haven't spent a single unit yet we are going to go ahead we're going to send the accolades we are going to get points in the accolades event we are going to get points in and because we're going to open up greater gifting event crystals we're going to get some points in the banquet event and at the same time you're going to get points in the uh, alliance banquet event as well where you need certain minimums in order to get rewards same points for getting the rewards as the other one and you can see you can get milestone rewards and rank rewards as you build through this so in order to send it we are going to go on the bottom left and then on the left hand side it says temporary gifting now you go to send gifts now if i go to this page here you can see there's nothing on crystals we have our items and there's nothing boosts on the boost side i could go ahead and send individual ones or I could go ahead and just click on all the different ones we have. And I go next. I could send it to, well, I'll just send it to my, uh, <laughs> I'll send it to the, uh, the main account. And then it'll say, okay, 10 items were sent. So now that I've done that, now if we go over to the milestones and we go to the solo event and we go to the accolades, we have now spent 500. We can claim uh, some of the shards here for Teamwork DreamWorks uh, crystal shards as well as the first five uh, greater, what is this again? Greater banquet crystals. And by doing that, uh, now we have a chance to get some points in the banquet event and for the Alliance banquet event. So we can go ahead to our crystals and we can open up the first uh, greater banquet crystals of the holiday season. So let's go ahead and see what we can get on our first five crystals. There are lots of items in here. There are also some underwhelming items in here, uh, but we'll see what we can get. Because again, this is for anyone in the game who's got, who's been playing for just a little bit, like level 40 and in an alliance for 14 days. There we go, some ISO, 100,000 gold. And is that just a thousand six star shards? A thousand six star shards, not really the 10,000 would be nice. Uh, a thousand is uh, again on the that's again a little underwhelming there on the low end. And the longer we play this game, if they don't update these crystals or take some of the stuff out of it, then it it's uh, you can get hit with some not so great stuff. So they're fifteen hundred six star shards, 
Again, not not really the most exciting. I know you can get a featured six star in here. I guess it's better than a T4 class catalyst or like T4 items. We don't we don't want those. We want you know high end rank four materials or at least a, a, a decent amount of shards or even a featured six star crystal would be pretty awesome. But again, hundred thousand gold and 1,500 six star shards. All right. I feel like last year, it might, maybe it's just unlucky with the amount of shards, but that seems pretty low. Again, with some skill. ISO, 100,000 gold. Okay, okay, tier 6 bait. That's a lot of tier 6 basic. That's a, nice, that's a hefty chunk. I think that's 50%. Yeah, that's 50% of uh, of a tier 6 basic. That's that's quite awesome. That's the type of stuff we're looking for. Oh, we got the number one at the top. Did we get a new champion? <laughs> Is that a, a first time pulling a five-star Thanos? I've never had one on either of my uh, big accounts. My second, like my third account, my third account had um, uh, has a five, I think has a five star Thanos. So a six star probably would, would have been better, but that's uh, a rare, a rare pull there with the uh, five star Thanos. Doesn't really do anything too special, but it's still pretty cool to finally have a Thanos on one of my, one of my big accounts. I think the, the tier 6 basic was definitely the big hit there. The 4,000 six-star shards, not going to really move the needle too much. But now if we go back and now we go to the milestones, now we're able to pick up uh, alliance milestones. So we can pick up like a three-star relic. We can pick up some uh, team four. We can pick up 275 units. We can pick up some class catalyst crystals. We can pick up another... Greater Banquet Crystal, and we can even pick up four T2A. So we can pick up quite a bit just there, and even on the solo event side, we can go and get the first 300 units there. So we already got 575 units back that we could use towards more uh, of the Banquet Crystals, and that's without even doing anything that's just with the freebies. I believe there is going to be a calendar. Um, I don't see it at the moment, but there should be a calendar for the remaining accolades. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look here. Banquet and accolades. There, because there should be... Um, there should be more uh, in order to get the... Uh, yeah, so there will be 10 categories... Uh, yeah, calendar by logging in for the next 10 days. So there should be a calendar. If it's not there already, it probably will be there tonight. And then you can go ahead and get the re and start collect. Make sure you get the accolades. Send them just like you would for gifting. And there you go. That is everything I think you need to know for banquet crystals and accolades at the moment. Good luck. I'll probably save up some more greater banquet crystals for a bigger opening but we opened up those first five to give you a taste of what you can get in those crystals so good luck to everyone happy holidays whatever you are celebrating and we will see you in the next one bye guys